be working. So we have actually graduated. Chat that doesn't exist yet. We, we have graduated because I'll tell you. Um, sound. Behold, when I click, feedback. I thought this entire time at game sounds. It turns out that we did not. I realized this earlier when I was having the trouble with GarageBand. But I've actually, I'm not sure how many hours I've spent out um, with no game sounds, just me talking. Especially given that my um, Civilization video got quite a lot of views already. I think I'll have to um, <clears throat> go back and finish up that game <laughs> now with music and stuff. Let's see, so I remember, do we... Okay, so we're playing Timberborn on the Experimental branch here. This is update 3. I wanted to start a new Hello, game. Lana. I'm not sure which of the two factions to choose yet. We're probably going to play normal game just for fun and try to make it real pretty. Let's see. So, let's. I've played a lot of Iron Teeth lately. Let's play um, the Folk Tales. We'll just go with nice big map. <clears throat> Terra says I've played recently. Thousand Islands is pretty interesting. No, let's just go for the plains. Let's do, um, I don't think I've played this map, actually. Try this. And, um, normal, you know, we don't want to make it too easy, otherwise it's a bit, don't want it. I, uh, think, or especially on the experimental branches, it's a bit risky. <laughs> so, everything isn't, uh, necessarily always balanced. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get things loaded up. It's starting into the world. Hmm. So, what do we name this place? Well, that's a tough call. Hmm. Um. Let's see. Maybe I've been. Alright, so what do we got here? I don't think I've seen this map yet. Go look around. Oh, interesting. So we've got large lakes up on terraces. I thought this was the Four Lakes map. Did I start a game on lakes on accident? I think I did. Huh. I don't have much space to work, which is really interesting. Um, you know, let's go back to the main menu. Do something with a little bit more round space. <clears throat> that map is really interesting. You can redirect water and do some terraforming stuff. But I know we keep getting put out of full screen. But uh, I'd rather play on something a bit more... Yeah, so I guess I wasn't on things. Okay, well, let's try... It seems like there's probably not much water in a lot of land. <clears throat> that way we really have to make the water work for us. Move it around, do some really cool constructions. Yes, hooray for game sounds. It was a bit frustrating getting it up and running, but I'm so happy I finally have it going now. Let's see. All this, okay. Let's go with that. <clears throat> okay, so let's take a look around. Ah, yes, this is much more like what I was imagining. A lot of dead area uh, that we can move water to. There's an interesting canyon here that we could put some water through. I could see that nice thoroughfare. There's some more. And let's find this water sort of all the way over. Oh, no, that's a water outlet. Okay, our water sources follow the river back. There's a waterfall here, so this water is probably... Nice and fast. 
<clears throat> another waterfall there. Oh. Cool. Is there another water source, or do we just have the one? Just one, I think. Interesting. So I think what the developers might have intended here is for us to redirect this single water source over to uh, this area over here. <coughs> However, we're going to need to get rolling. <laughs> we've got some. Snacking on some peanuts. I was getting this ready. There's a little flake. Got me good. Real good. Okay. <clears throat> so, so, so. Oh, I've got the two girl running. <laughs> this is a new update. Let's back up. Um. Don't need those. So. <clears throat> we want to move this water around. Okay. Start by harvesting trees. And building a dam. And here, where our first dam needs to be. <clears throat> nice and small. Of course, a lot of water for us. But we're eventually going to want to um, build upwards and start spreading this water around. We need to get levees online. Definitely going to want those. Otherwise, we're going to have to start going into planks a lot, and that's going to really challenging. We want to be using planks for stairs, not platform. And definitely for floodgates. Hmm. So, I think and just to start, let's go ahead and put down a food harvest flag. Rotate that up a time. And let's put down a couple of lumberjack flags. Oh, here. Just harvest up this wood. It won't grow back, but we want to go ahead and just get it out of the way. Put a storage of that. Relatively close to all of the trees. Don't necessarily need to worry about our end game layout with any of this stuff. Oh, pretty much all of it is going to get torn up <clears throat> in the long run. Go ahead and let those build. We want to make sure to uh, increase the number of workers right at the beginning of the game. That we get these few things, these first few things built faster. Um, now, another thing to think about is we're going to need water and water storage. For water storage, um, we have the small tank, a little bit of wood. Yep. Um, for water generation, we have the water pump, also a little bit of wood. Um, but we do need to make this happen at the very least before the drought hits. So let's make a few of these. Let's see. We want to that is relatively space efficient. So if you put too many of these close to get too close together, you actually lose efficiency a bit. So let's spread these out. Just make a couple of fans here. Our walkways. So we've got a little setup here. Some spaces laid out. Intersecting walkways to speed up travel times. Let's let things go for a sec. <clears throat> we want to also put in some water storage. This is kind of important where it goes. I'm thinking right over here by our... Um, these are one tile now. Right over here would be good. That will store up plenty of water for the drought. <clears throat> Another thing that we need to think about here, getting some housing up. Beavers, forgot. Oh, I'm to chop trees. So actually tell them which trees to cut down. 
Later on, there will be trees that we're cultivating, and we don't want our... Yeah. We need to be super precise and um, chop these trees down, too. They will regrow. <clears throat> and we'll worry about foresting them. So foresters are really good to unlock. We do want to get planks. We want to get a very good stockpile of wood before we start doing this. So we'll deplete our plank stash very quickly. Let's see, so we've got all of these and we want to have these be higher priority than this. Well, we've got enough food. And we'll make one of these the highest priority and the others the main. And then as soon as, as soon as everything gets built here, we'll save the... Let's see, we'll do the... Um, Damn last. One of these and one of these quickly. We'll do these. <clears throat> that seems good. Wait, that seems fine. Also, we might as well drop it halfway down. Demolish. Two resources so that we can eventually put some buildings on the other side. Buildings on the other side. Coming together a little bit. This game. It's a, a nice mix of real-time strategy and city building. Um, you can pause it too, which is really nice, so... Um, unlike, say, a game like StarCraft 2, you can actually walk away if you need to, say, you know, eat some food or something like that. Or if you just want to have a more relaxing game session, play on normal speed or even pause as much as you But I make liberal use of the pause feature. That is fantastic to have here. Not getting demolished. Let's see. So do we have any unemployed? We have no unemployed beavers at this point. Let's just let things run. So we have some jobs for them to do and we can take them out of... Anything up for a sec. We get water going, there we go. I want to take one builder away. That way, have somebody to water. We want to get all of this up and running and start storing water and get our dam going before we um, try to get housing. Well, <clears throat> that's very important. In fact, come to think of it, we'll go through this second day here, doing most of that work, putting all those together, pumping up. Goods. I think from ah, okay. Well, I haven't seen some of these new features yet. I think I missed this. Uh, this. I guess we need to also get this to be put. It's very cool. Oh, wow, that's convenient that they're all. I like this uh, change here. These tanks used to take two and um, would only hold water. So now it seems you can put different things in there. There's some more sophisticated commands here for managing. Cool. Right. <clears throat> so day two is going well. We're getting more of these water production, rather uh, water pumps, rather water production buildings. And you can see they are pretty. A lot of them are hungry, but they're eating. So that temporary dip there. Don't worry too much about that. That'll happen really until we get. So you know. This is almost built. Far from it. Oh, okay. Ah. This is about we have eleven beavers. So 
let's pick a location. I think this area where we're chopping all the wood out of seems perfect because it will be a little while until this area is ready and we'll want to migrate our so let's, uh, <coughs> let's pack in a few houses here. We've got these mirrored lodges so we can do some very close quarters living areas. Like this. Nine. We'll do. So this gives us enough space. Go. <clears throat> and those we will have come up last. Yet. This priority tool is very helpful. <clears throat> Definitely something to utilize quite a lot. We do need to keep an eye on our beavers. Some of them are growing up soon, <coughs> which is very good. We actually have an unemployed one now. That's why we don't need to worry about houses until later, because we do have some young beavers to build those houses, that thing should go on. For reference, building houses increases their well-being, and well-being has a variety of benefits. At first, it uh, increases your lifespan, first quite dramatically. But uh, additionally, with the folktales, it also gives them room to eat. Every house you build will eventually be completely filled by the folktales. So if you give them any space to live in, they will fill it. This is very different from the iron teeth, which will which require um, you to decide to breed every individual kid. <laughs> All right, we've got the dam going in. I'm going to block up some of this water and keep us safe when the drought ends. <clears throat> this map, I like this. Uh, some of the maps have much larger dams, uh, two or three more tiles. If you have to build, so you need to prioritize them a bit more. Get this it's a bit more relaxed in that part. We uh, are having that dam come up now. Unemployed beaver here. An unemployed beaver who is apparently not working. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight and four. There is an empty job. Well, maybe they'll just fill it. They really don't want to water, I guess. Not connected to the si- Oh! Right. <clears throat> Alright, and day four, we'll get some houses up. Continue chopping up that wood, harvesting those berries. We should probably put down a storage. Oh! We are here to increase the efficiency of our berry harvester. Let's put this near the food. We're not in housing. <clears throat> we want to keep our green area clear, so I'm not going to put that there. Here, and we'll say... Will this do berries? Ooh, do I have a food storage building? Is that house yes okay <clears throat> well then do one of these do something like this scalable we'll say Uh, 
And uh, now our water storage is looking pretty good. 90 water is really quite a lot. Get that filled in. At this point, <clears throat> we need to think about what kind of tech direction we want to go in. Um, we can go towards planks. That's a good option. We don't really have to do much to unlock that. And that can help with a variety of things. Um, or we could go straight into Inventor. And try to unlock uh, some things. Take a little slower on the lumber mills. <clears throat> Notably, the lumber mills require power. This is why this is potentially a good idea. Because we would have to build these power wheels and these funds. Difficult to get to the point of actually building a forester, even though they only require seven planks. Because <clears throat> you do have to build some sort of power generation. Our options here are a water wheel and a power wheel. The power wheel by itself will power things. Water wheel will potentially generate much more power, depending on where it's located. So something like this is really good, but um, it's a, a tough ask at this stage in the game because it will block off um, a lot of green area. And we, we really don't want to block off a green area. So something we can do is try to find out of the way spot, maybe over here, would be a, a spot to put in a little bit of power generation. <clears throat> but even then, uh, it can be pretty tricky. And the water is moving much more quickly down here as well. So in general, I tend to use power wheels early in the game so that I don't have to worry about my nice farmland getting taken up by power. And later in the game, once we've got a bunch of levees and floodgates and we're directing water all over the place, at that point we can start tossing power water wheels down and really taking advantage of all that power. <clears throat> Meaning, us, we need wood. We need lots of wood. We need all this wood. We need all that wood. Probably need to find ways to get down. We can, ooh, got metal over here as well, so I think that's within reach of our current city center. And there's even some dandelions up here. Great. So, yeah. Let's build another dam. Build another dam here. Right behind this water pump. That will give me access to the other side. Chop those trees. <clears throat> Let's actually put one there. These trees also. We'll have some chestnuts and a bit of. Uh, <clears throat> Birch chopping as well. This is naturally growing for us. That's convenient. <clears throat> we need planks to get down from here or to go up. So this is the extent of our wood. Um, oh, we can go up here because there's a natural staircase. Very good. We're going to need every scrap of this. So um, especially if you're playing on hard on this map, you really cannot afford to waste this wood. You can't afford to just spend it willy-nilly very carefully about what goes where, how much it built. All right, so day five, it looks like, actually, is when the houses are going to go up. Let's check the priority. Yeah, we can deprioritize this. Yeah, go ahead. Oh. Actually, deprioritize this. This built already. Like this, the bear. <laughs> you can see we have no wood. We're using all of it just to build all of this. <laughs> but that's okay. Paths don't require wood, and that's really all we need to be able to access this area. It is much more. Go ahead and put a projectile. And since we've got all the water we need, 
I'm gonna pause these, and that will get us more luck. Okay, and now we've got no homeless people. Got uh, one unemployed that would be chopping down some trees here. <clears throat> we haven't lost any beavers to old age yet either, which is great. We get those houses down in time. Yeah, and you can see we jumped right up to four, four happiness. You can see here that uh, um, we have hunger, thirst, sleep, and shelter met. We don't have wet fur met. We can get that a couple ways. And then things other than berries, as well as some social things and things being pretty, among others, increase their well-being. <clears throat> so if we pause and grab one of these beavers for a sec, uh, you can see these modifiers here. We have well-being 4. If we hover over these, you can see next here, well-being 5, we get plus 10 to working speed. Say at well-being 12, we get plus 15 movement speed, and at um, well-being 7, we get plus 20% life expectancy. So actually, I guess they changed that. <laughs> I stand corrected, it is 7. So these little bars here are the point at which the need becomes dire. A little icon above their head. Hey, I really want this thing. Let's see. On from here, we're still going to be building that dam and harvesting all of the wood that we can. Looks like the wood is finally going in a sort of positive direction there. Let's set this to also hold berries. Those berries might. Those berries can pop. And, um, <clears throat> while we're at it, go ahead and place a farmhouse. Oh, no, actually, I think. We need to leverage these berries a bit more. Let's keep our population low. And we'll try to soak up all this wood and get to a point where... How soon are these? I don't know if we can sustain our population. I worry that it's not enough. Ooh. I think we have to place down a farmhouse. Place down a single farmhouse. One and build some kids. Great area there. And I think this should be good. Let them work on the carrot and focus. We'll make this a very important job. Just for now, until we get a little bit of extra food storage going, and we're going to cheat. We need one here now. So we're not doing as much building, so I'm going <coughs> to make sure to keep our jobs full by taking out two for here. Um, they'll continue to shuffle stuff around, and they'll help with efficiency overall, so... Entirely. They basically act like... Okay, and you can see we're starting to get some, um... Starting to get some logs here. Let me get enough to potentially think about making some lumber mills. Um, so let's get... Uh... Inventor down. A little invention here. We're not going to build all of these yet. We're just going to build one for now. Not though. So you don't want to put your invention places too in the way. Eventually you'll have to move them otherwise. We want to make sure this is all these. And we can just take a builder out. Any, anyone building anything? We're more focused on 
more focused on harvesting it. I'll send a large pile up here. Help with storing things. So if you, you know, let's not, um, because they're not actually going to be many more trees. Most of them are fun from over the pile. Should help with efficiency. Okay, we're really getting quite a lot of a lot of logs now. Well, we can start building a lumber mill and a power wheel attached. A right next to that and <coughs> maybe. Provide just enough power to get our um, plank production going. Thank you very much. And if we can get our hands on 60 science and um, seven of those planks, we can actually afford to build a couple more of these inventors. That science going a bit faster. Then, in that case, uh, we'll be able to just plant trees and bushes wherever we wherever we want. So that is now the most important help. Our water production up there. Not really need two of these. Anymore. And we definitely don't need two here. Let's do anything for this one. some planks. I do need to make a plank pile. I'll put a plank pile. We'll just put this right behind the plank production. In fact, no, let's not because I think that we might double that plank production. Could lead right past. Um, oh, let's pause this for now. Don't want to build those yet. And we only need one builder there. This way we've got our science check. You can see we're already up to 47. Fantastic. Our first unlock at 60 science. Forester is very important. And um, we have 12 planks as well, so we've got enough planks. It's a good thing that I made carrots. It's correct. Most out of food. I think they finished growing today. Our beavers are barely going to survive, actually. Mental note, we needed to, uh, <laughs> we needed to build this sooner. 
second beaver to finish up just to get them harvested as soon as possible. The 60 science, there we go. Got that forester. Awesome. Hmm. I'll put this. Forester over here. But trees in a lot of these places. I think it might be more useful. I'd rather take more of Seems like a spot. Maximum recovery. Okay, so once that forester comes up, we want them to start working on planting berries. We're gonna go to bushes. Cultivate all. That will help majorly. Because I think I need another field of these. And then that way we can increase. any moment and our food just in time. Wow. How bad is the needs meters? Not too bad, but that's minus 10. It's a minus 10. Do not like being hungry. Uh, fortunately, we see that icon a long time before they're actually in any danger. We've got this extra food production. We can use a few extra ones. Nothing screws? Let our little ant farm go. Look at him go. We're working away. Little beaver guys. From here, now that we've got a bunch of science generation, got some planks coming our way, we want to start thinking about going towards levee and also going towards stairs and platforms. For huge upgrades, we really need to get early on, especially on this map. I feel the need for stairs and various platform heights. <clears throat> the platforms, for reference, they all cost four planks. Uh, they cost small amounts of wood different. So it is very worth it to unlock the triple platform. If you need the triple platform, this will save you a huge amount of planks. Oh. Let's see. Okay, yay, we'll be. Close. Let's bring you up to give a high priority. We can start cultivating trees also. So I'm going to replace uh let's keep these birds. Little birch grove. That's it's good to have one of these groves around somewhere. They don't provide very much in terms of wood overall, but it is fast wood production and steady wood production, so there are times where you'll use huge amounts of wood all at once. Having one of these are two people to Pop a few beavers to chop it um, makes a big difference. But usually, you really want maple. You want to get to a point where you can wait for maple to grow. So we're going to go ahead and start that very long process of 
30 days for delivery of uh, infinity million logs. I want to get that going as soon as possible. That's a big reason why the forester is such a big deal. As soon as you get all of these logs coming through from your maple trees, everything smooths out. It can be a bit of a struggle, depending on the map, to actually get to that point. Some of them really require you to jump through hoops to wait that long, because the droughts can be really messy <laughs> yeah, on harder difficulties, even more so. Let's see. We don't want to waste our forester's time by planting on lots we can't plant, so we're only going to plant on tiles that have at least one little speck of green somewhere. doesn't have a spot of green on it, it can't grow. So, let's fill in that whole area with maples. Actually, birch growth here. Let's clear out so we have a bit more freedom to move. So at this point, <clears throat> we will be getting a lot more wood coming in. Let's see, this area is just to. Which I need to determine. I never actually did find out how many crops one farmhouse can handle at once. Would be interesting kind of indicator. another one. Good, and we're going to get some more population now. Get some stairs. We want to just scale up our population a little bit so that specifically we can get more plants. And to do that, we need to make sure that we're getting food. Actually, we only do need to working pretty efficiently. We're focused on Earth, on the blue. And we probably need a second. See, it's a large area. And I mean, we've got enough trees over here for the last bit, so we could probably make this Either food or more berry. Also, there is a drought coming. It'll be just a couple days, but we should be fine. Stage. We've got two dams, a bunch of water stored, and a pretty low population, only about 13. Although we could go up to as much as 18. Drought with 90 water. Okay. So I guess I haven't seen a drought on this update, so let's put a couple more water story. Since why not? Very compact up. Let's put some water storage over by the industrial area. That way they don't have to walk all the way over there just to get a really cut into your efficiency overall set up a place to just have more of those in the future. I want to make sure to think about um, your later game scenarios when it comes to uh, this stage. You want to be able to build up. You just want to be able to build up. So um, these buildings which you can't build on top of, but to clump them together like this to just pick a spot and throw them there, especially if it's not a green area. Uh, to get all of them sort of out of the way of where you want to build vertically. And this cliff side is really where we need to go vertical. So that is where we're not going to be these buildings you can't build out from. I'm going to put this on normal play speed for a moment and step away. I need to grab myself water and snack. Enjoy our little ant farm.
Okay, 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 we are back. More water? Dopamine? Yeah. So, we are now 0.7 days away from a drought. I don't know how long this drought is going to be. You haven't played Timberborn before. The droughts can be pretty long. Um, I think we're all right. Um, although, this did not get built. Because I don't actually have any builder. Do that. Let's see, this is no longer needed. We can pause this and go ahead and pause that. He's gone anywhere. I'm gonna hold off on science for a second. Oh, they've been building this. We want, we want to get a little bit more water stored up. Just in case. Before the drought, if we can. Or rather, during the beginning of the drought, I guess. So our carrots are fairly close, but fortunately the berries have started to come. It's done. That will really help to mitigate some of these hunger problems. Here. Again, once we get through this first drought, things will stabilize in a big way. We can boom our population. And we've got and we've got enough science for uh, years now. That's great. We still need a hundred more. We still need a hundred more for platforms before we can really do anything. Um, and honestly, we need 200, 350, 450 more. So that we can efficiently get around. And then in addition to that, we really want to get another 120, 570 total to get these levies on. So it is an ambitious goal to get all this science, but with four dudes generating it here, we should be able to get it pretty quick. Got these set to accept that water. And, uh, you're getting built. Very good. So, um, the drought will come very quickly. Uh, this water will stop right away. All this will dry up, and this dam will hold back this water. This dam will hold back this water. Our pumps are probably going to drain it rather quickly. But our food won't die. Because the first few droughts aren't that long be okay in that regard. <laughs> and we'll just store that water. Later in the game, we get something called a water dump. Um, and we can use our stored water to refresh the ground and keep our plants alive. And just to dump a little bit of water into the ground every now and then, that will reset the timer until your plants die. There we go. All of this stuff up here has died. This dandelion is uh, pretty wimpy, so if we don't harvest that at some point, it's definitely going to die when we get to these later droughts. But you can see this is only a three-day drought. Three-day droughts are really not to Timberborn. We're probably not even going to notice. In fact, I'm not even going to build this last one. So we'll go back to this. See, actually, the one farmhouse is handling this amount of carrots quite nicely. They must have gotten a small buff because they like that good before. Um, now, you can see we are got some empty jobs. So we want to try to fill those, and to do that, we need to increase our population. So, we can do so in a couple ways. I think something like this. But we lack platforms at the moment. Could try to do something to this effect. Just go vertical here with platforms and some houses on top. That could be quite nice. Um, it's not the most efficient thing you don't want because you can't really keep going vertical from there, but we can always rip this up and redesign later. When you get to late game, you've got on the order of thousands of wood a lot of the time. So you can afford to rebuild these early game structures. No, not not worth fretting over to Uter. We want to go vertical. 
um, at some point, but I guess we can't quite do that yet, and we do want to increase our population. So let's do another of these lodges, and you notice I am setting it up so that the doorway is one away. This is so that we can eventually put a staircase here and still be able to access the Um, actually, you know what? Let's not do it that way. Um, because if we put a staircase, uh, back here, back here, actually, no. Is this the right thing? Something like that. Uh, oh, or we could just go up. We could just go from the side, right? We can just build platforms across. So I think we don't need a second staircase. Actually, just to do this. If we want, we could even put another staircase at the end of this. Put a couple staircases there. Yeah, let's leave that spot open just and increase our population a bit. With all these berries coming in and our population going up, we would be able to handle another forest or another farmhouse. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do these trees to be demolished. I don't want to wait for them to get chopped enough wood planted for the pine. Put some more farm. Noticing that we're not storing any carrots at all. That's why I think we need more corn. Um, so let's do some prioritizing here. I think uh, it is very high priority to get this done. I want to get this farm built. Also, want to go ahead and get link production going. This on here. That's the order we want things done. I do want as many builders as we can get at this time. And you'll notice uh, it is a drought, yes, but we have barely been affected because of our dams. It's only a two day drought. The water level has gone down slightly. Not very. And that's primarily because we've been pumping water out of it. Looking good overall. Down some more crops. Grow some, let's grow a field of sunflowers. So now we have some sunflowers planted too. This should increase our well-being a little bit. <clears throat> intermittently, we need to plant still more carrots. Plant a few more over here. Just cram them in wherever we. And I'm not sure if all of these uh, plots can be managed. In fact, I'm quite sure that all of these plots can't be managed by this many farmers, so let's put it... Let's just start stashing. We want to... Storage... Hard file... Hmm. Awkward. Uh -huh. in space. Too bad. 
set this to... Oh, no, I can't. I can't do that. Right. <laughs> we need uh, warehouses. I've already got a berry warehouse. Oh, you know, we can just do this. Oh, no, we can't. I don't have, uh... <laughs> I don't have platforms yet, but uh, hmm. I don't have any wood. Well, that's not good. Let's harvest some trees. I just this. I do have wood. These are planks. Oh, I thought that was wood. Okay, well. That's not great, but we are going positive on food finding. Maybe we actually just need Ooh, let's put sunflowers. <laughs> Gotta really utilize the space that we have for food generation. And Yeah, I do think I'm gonna have to put another rooster here. It's gonna be crucial. <laughs> this is what I was talking about. We have to be we needed to be very careful with what with our wood. This is the highest priority. Actually, well, we can have it. That'll help us fill in some of these employment gaps. At this time, these woodcutting jobs are on. Goofed up trying to um, get rid of those trees. I should have waited for them to be harvested. It's okay, we'll be fine. Temporary delay of lack of trees. Source butter. Also got enough planks, I think. That can help. Right, so at this point, yeah, we've got an unemployment. It'll be good to fill in this job as soon as it's ready. Just plant, uh, we'll plant a bunch of maple trees. You can see that these, uh, these birch trees come in clutch. They really grow fast. It's nine days. It's only one log. But, uh, yeah. They come through and save the day. It's, uh, there's always a few of them there. 
That's why you want that. You make that mistake that I made. Very easy to do. Get back on some science generation here. Got proper wood production, I think. But delay in employing our farmers. Not have this housing ready to our lack of wood. Let's take a keep someone making some water. Clear out these tiles where maple trees are not. Let's see. So from here, we're going to get into the platforms, we're going to get into the levees, and the plan is to redirect this river. A big river here. This water is has a lot of force because it's coming right from this water source. There's a bunch of them. So we can actually generate a lot of power and move this around pretty effectively. But let's think about that. I think we definitely need to set up some kind of split here where we send the water off to the right and off to the left and shuffle it into this canyon. And fill this canyon in. Um, notably, it would overflow back into this direction that way, but still would be able to really spread a lot of green area around. We could just funnel this water straight over that, or perhaps here to, um, around this tree and send it off to the left, off to the right, or maybe even, yeah, I'm not sure, but we'll be doing some redirecting of this river. And uh, those golems will come in handy to terraform where the riverbed was and where we wanted to be. Although we are quite a ways off. Of All right, they're not called golems, and they are bots. Yes, golems sounded a bit magical in hindsight. I think I agree with that. Um, it was a little bit of a magical word. They're strictly technical. That makes sense. These are um, pretty tough to get the uh, power needed and the resources needed to actually build all of these. So you need quite a lot of stuff. You need metal, planks, and fuel that can uh, big step forward. In terms of we're gonna we're gonna stay on wood tech for a while. We're gonna try to get towards fuel. We're gonna try to get towards metal. And the sooner we can get those, the sooner we can get golems and start terraforming everything. And to get there, we really need to start moving water around. That's why we're going to go the way that we're going to go. We need to start moving water around, take advantage of the flow of the water as we move it, generate electricity. And the beauty of that is if you use these levees uh, and scaffoldings, you can build your power lines along the sides of the levees. So you aren't taking up valuable building space elsewhere. <laughs> A little low on planks. Let's start up our plank production. We've got jobs. Population. To 18 here. We've got 15. Four jobs empty, so we need one more. Nine empty beds and adding on some. We've got definitely got the housing built out the labor force. Let's go ahead and open all these up and set our priorities for jobs. Oh, uh, going to this workplace menu here it doesn't pause anymore. I love that. Um, and set our priorities. I really like to put the uh, district center building as the lowest priority and just manually put builders onto it um, by raising the priority 
don't really like to have stuck on that. I'm actually also going to put inventors on the lowest priority. So these really only fill up when we need them. Put our districts in. So that primarily we get these. We are going to have these lumber mills at high priority because it's okay if these stop. Um, same with the lumberjack flags. We're not going to have beaver start dying if the lumberjack flags stop. Power wheels. But the water pumps need to stay high priority. We can pause them or unpause them as we need them. Likewise, the farmhouses need to be high priority. Well, because again, our beavers will just start dying. And for now, I'm going to have our foresters on this as well. And gather flags for the same reason as farmhouses. Have them doing or highly prioritized. That we never stop making food, never stop planting. Um, because we're growing maples. Uh, it's likely that, yeah, and we can see we're already catching up to the trees in terms of growth. So it's likely that we will be able to plant this entire grove constantly with just two foresters. Good. Also need to add this area to chopping. These trees can be chopped. Always a little bit painful when you forget to do that. And this is no long. All that. And we're going to want to place one maple trees in these spots that are. Those had a few remaining chestnut trees. We don't really care about chestnut trees. Those are not. All right, and we want to make sure always have everyone set purpose. That way we, we don't have idle crops being around. But, uh, <clears throat> we can see after a few crop rotations, um, we'll be able to tell a little bit better how they're managing things. I think we may still need another pair of farmers to handle all of this and keep the production going. But you can see our food score stores are skyrocketing now. We're already at 100 plus carrots. So we are definitely good for the next route, which is just fun. Nobody's starving in this car. Okay. See, as our population increases, the jobs will naturally start to fill in with, according to the priorities that we set. There's all the, the harvest coming through. We're getting lots and lots of seeing that our sunflower seeds need is not quite being met. Something that we can do here also to help with needs is to put some stairs down here. Occasionally the beavers will decide to go through the water, which can uh, give them a need called wet fur. Nice to have, give them a way to get into it. So, and yeah, if uh, you don't want to dam up a river, this is a way for them to get across it. You don't actually need a path. I think if you put the path, they will follow it, and it might make them faster. At the very least, it extends the range of your city center, or your district center. Uh, that, that's good either way. You can see our, the last of our few sunflowers finally coming in, harvesting everything. We are running notably pretty low on water, so let's unpause these. We want to keep an eye on that and get our water stores filled up before the next drought comes in. Now the droughts do get more intense over time, so our first drought was only three days. I anticipate our next drought will be a lot longer. Three days is probably about as short as it gets on a normal game mode. I didn't check, but that seems pretty short compared to what I've been dealing with. 
Um, then again, I was playing, oh, I could perhaps bring it up on stream, I was playing a very, very, very challenging game of Canyon for this. Uh, maybe I am just used to my arbitrarily extremely high difficulty settings. Like I had um month, no, I had 20 days between droughts. The droughts were um, 20 days, somewhere around 20 days. So it was half the time drought, half the time uh, not, and very, very long droughts. <clears throat> yeah, it got to the point where uh, the areas where that weren't properly dammed up, about the time that the water would return, <laughs> it would uh, start another drought. And so I had to have uh, dams several blocks high. In fact, we're going to do something similar here. I'd have levees several blocks high uh, just to store enough water to get through each of the routes without running out. It did get a little bit ridiculous. Now this is going uh, pretty smoothly so far. We've got another drought coming in a couple days. It's a good thing we started up that water storage. Get that in our way. Um, likewise, these dams are really crucial just to keep our trees growing. We need to get through uh, this stage of 30 days our maple seedlings to, have to grow into full-grown maple trees. Until then, we're stuck on these birch trees. We have very slim wood production. Wow, carrot production is actually awesome. We are full up on carrots and maybe need more carrots for um, but not enough sunflower seeds, so let's actually tear up these extra carrot fields here. Here's an half of those. And a handful of these carrots as well. About that much, and replace those with sunflower. do potatoes, but I don't want to worry about having to grill them. Seems like a bit of a hassle. Oh, we have um, builders. Get some builders up for tomorrow just to get that done really quick, and then we'll bring that back down to low priority. Get them doing more important tasks. Um, also, we're running super low on wood. We should not be making planks. 66 of those, so let's go ahead and pause those. Maybe get a little bit of science. Um, oh. Light up. Sunflowers down. Love the music in this game. So relaxing. <clears throat> I think that should be a good amount of sunflowers. I should maybe balance out a bit. Uh, you know. And sunflower store. Good. Oh, whoops. Go ahead. Put a sunflower store. Back here. I suspect uh, that we still need another farmhouse. Go right there. Right where oh, that's do this. I don't necessarily know if I want to build this yet. This here for now. Uh, if we see that the next crop cycle, they are really slowing down to harvest everything. Really. So we'll do that as well. Now that we're not making planks, we are definitely going to start storing some wood up. Good. Need to wait, it looks like, uh, oh, several more days actually. It may actually be a little while until we have more wood. Uh, engage in some patience, then. Patience. For all of our plans to come to fruition. <laughs> 
Oh, damn. Uh, this drought. So... For water levels are fine. Honestly, probably turn this off. Get the water level's nice and high. Suppose we'll turn one of them off. Oh. Got some more adults, that's good. They're completely unemployed. People have water. I don't want to use them to make Yeah, it does look like they are having a little bit of delay here. They don't, they're not quite getting it harvested as fast as things are growing. Have that. Have that. Maybe we can always have all crops harvested. Maximum. Good. Our sunflower numbers are going up a little bit. We don't have a proper storage place for them. Can't go there. Pretty good cycle so far. Um, aside from our lack of wood, though, again, we did heavily invest in a maple tree. A good part of our build. We would get these foresters going a whole bunch of maple trees to generate large batches of wood. And these are already halfway through growing, so before the end of this cycle, we're likely to have these maple trees come through. Ah, because here's the water we can follow it around. Very satisfying to watch everything in the green. Here we go. A lag there for the auto save that does happen. Just goes off here and flows away. And that's uh, this one thing is that there's always a hang up when it does an auto save. I'm not sure if that is intended or not. something I've always noticed. See that? That's probably what's just probably just what's going on is it's an auto save happening in the background. It is good to save fairly often with this game. You can make mistakes, you can die, you can lose. Um, you want to be fairly careful, though it's not really a high pressure save. Unless you pick a particular item. So much science. Okay. Let me get some of these platforms that we're wanting. So this station here is three platforms left. We would want to get the double platform and stairs to be able to access up. And to go down. Oh well, we could take this little shelf here. That would be pretty efficient. <laughs> we could just go down with the single platform. So we actually can, as soon as we start getting wood, start expanding to lower ground as well as higher ground. Nice. Well, in that case, let's pick up double platform. Oh, we don't actually need any triple platforms. I don't believe until we get to the point of building those big old levees that I was talking about when we're redirecting water source. Ah, there we go. All of these trees coming in now. Have a lot more wood. Be able to build the things that we've been waiting on too. Get this extra farmhouse, but our sunflower warehouse is ready. Now we can store those sunflowers too. Have us really, really stable. On we won't have to worry about food. For a long time. Oh, how cute! That is adorable. They fill up with little boxes of the the thing. I, that is. They just keep making this game cuter and cuter. 
พาได้ด้วยไม่คิดว่าเราจะได้เล็กๆบ็อกซ์ของสุนทรีฟ้าที่นี่ฉันไม่รู้ว่านี่เป็นแบบที่เปิดนี่เปิดนั่นน่าสงสารมากและเขาใส่เล็กๆบ็อกซ์ในนั้นนี่สวยที่เขาใช้เล็กๆบ็อกซ์ของสุนทรีฟ้าอ๋อเดี๋ยวนี้เราเจอเราเจอสุนทรีฟ้าบ็อกซ์เสร็จแล้วเราจะได้เห็นว่าเขาใช้เล็กๆบ็อกซ์ในการสร้างบ้านของเราเราจะได้เห็นว่าเขาใช้เล็กๆบ็อกซ์ในการสร้างบ้านของเราเราจะได้เห็นว่าเขาใช้เล็กๆบ็อกซ์ในการสร้างบ้านของเราเราจะได้เห็นว่าเขาใช้เล็กๆบ็อกซ์ในการสร้างบ้านของเราเราจะได้เห็นว่าเขาใช้เล็กๆบ็อกซ์ในการสร้างบ้านของเราเราจะได้เห็นว่าเขาใช้เล็กๆบ็อกซ์ในการสร้างบ้านของเราเราจะได้เห็นว่าเขาใช้เล็กๆบ็อกซ์ในการสร้างบ้านของเราเราจะได้เห็นว่าเขาใช้เล็กๆบ็อกซ์ในการสร้างบ้านของเราเราจะได้เห็นว่าเขาใช้เล็กๆบ็อกซ์ในการสร้างบ้านของเราเราจะได้เห็นว่าเขาใช้เล็กๆบ็อกซ์ในการสร้างบ้านของเราเราจะได้เห็นว่าเขาใช้เล็กๆบ็อกซ์ในการสร้างบ้านของเราเราจะได้เห็นว่าเขาใช้เล็กๆบ็อกซ์ในการสร้างบ้านของเราเราจะได้เห็นว่าเขาใช้เล็กๆบ็อกซ์ในการสร้างบ้านของเราเราจะได้เห็นว่าเขาใช้เล็กๆเราจะเริ่มต้นเมื่อเราเริ่มต้นการผลิตของเราเราจะมีจำนวนมากของเบอร์รี่เราจะเลือกที่จะเก็บเบอร์รี่ไม่ต้องเก็บเบอร์รี่ให้มากขึ้นเพราะว่าเราจะได้เห็นว่าเราได้เพียงพอที่จะมีมากขึ้นเราต้องการที่จะเก็บเบอร์รี่ให้มากขึ้นเพราะว่าเราจะได้เห็นว่าเราได้เพียงพอที่จะมีมากขึ้นเราต้องการที่จะเก็บเบอร์รี่ให้มากขึ้นเพราะว่าเราจะได้เห็นว่าเราได้เพียงพอที่จะมีมากขึ้นเราต้องการที่จะเก็บเบอร์รี่ให้มากขึ้นเพราะว่าเราจะได้เห็นว่าเราได้เพียงพอที่จะมีมากขึ้นเราต้องการที่จะเก็บเบอร์รี่ให้มากขึ้นเพราะว่าเราจะได้เห็นว่าเราได้เพียงพอที่จะมี So this first big growth, where everything's coming in at once, there is. It, it looks a bit like this. In the future, it will be a bit smoother because they're harvesting and replanting pretty close together. So it'll pop up right about the time that it's ready to be harvested if we're operating efficiently. Second growth will tell us a lot more about what's going on and whether or not we need to have maybe third, third leopard. Um, same with our maples. These will all grow at once, and we really won't be able to tell uh, how efficiently we're handling things until we have a second. Until we have a second. I do think we will absolutely need another lumberjack flag for the maples. We have one dedicated to them, and um, on the chance I think that we will also, yeah, we might also need. Focusing on his birch logs and flex back. Not an employee beat. Something. Now also, we don't really need berry production, so we could take them off, but we'll leave them there. Just in, just to keep our berry pot, our berry stash topped off. And we are just. Burning through all of our sunflowers, we're still staying very positive on carrots, though. It's good. I guess our needs are being. What sunflower? Oh right, I forgot about that. They have a um. There's a status now. A broken tea. I need to do. Priority. Let's also do that. Put in a couple of these. Under well-being, there is a teeth grindstone. Large. Okay. High priority build. It's only five logs. These are very inexpensive. Definitely. Wasn't reminded of this earlier by the game. But yes, with that broken teeth uh, status, they will chop wood much more slowly. I want to make these grindstones down. Need their teeth. To, I guess find a very high location uh, here, here. Build some gravity batteries. Although we're a ways off, we would need a lot of metal. This seems like a nice location for gravity batteries. Just a little forward planning in that regard. 
We're starting to store wood now. We've got to... Built all of our wood-based things, and we are quarters of the way through that 30-day period. A little over a week left. 15, 16, we'll see those maples come in and I'm all harvested. Like the, it'll be about three more days on these birches and they'll start coming back. Well, so we're going to have a lot more. Left. We might even need to add in another wood store. This really is an astounding quantity. Eight per tree. We'll have more than enough. It means for quite some time. Uh, yeah, this is it's, it's a very interesting game because you need to manage the population. It reminds me almost of um, it's like Warcraft, very old school Warcraft. Or if uh, anyone here would have played that, perhaps dating myself, but uh, you actually got punished for building too many units. You had something called upkeep, other than say like a supply from Starcraft Two. Um, units cost something to maintain, and the more of them you had, the more upkeep needed, and it got to a point that it was just too much. So you could only have armies of a certain size, and the game was much more focused around small armies interacting with these. Um, here, it's similar. You've got an upkeep of food, water, housing that these beavers have to have, as well as, say, like... Uh, various other things their their well-being things like the, the teeth grindstones shrines medicine and so on and so on very interesting that reminds me of it really uh pulls on a lot of strings of various uh <laughs> genres that you wouldn't expect from a game that is ostensibly about beavers building dams <laughs> tell it's made with of love by people who really play games. Oh, got our first maples. They're coming through. The maples are the maples are coming. So much wood. Hooray. We've already got a lot of wood too. Right, well we're thinking about what we're gonna do with this. We've got almost five hundred science at this point. Pushing up towards five hundred. But we're definitely going to get our uh, third platform, get the beads. Now what to do next, though, is sort of up in the air. Explosives are pretty nice. They let us uh, terraform without the bots. But I think it would be better to try to go towards these tree beads. Um, try to go towards terraforming. It is a pretty advanced tech, so it's hard to get there in any way. What we could do, perhaps, um, try to go towards. Am I looking for a paper fan? Uh, no, we just need ears. So I could imagine using, making a little bit of paper. Take some dynamite and using that to make some small holes in the ground that we could fill with water, say, with some uh, water dump. Yeah. And if we could keep those, like a couple of artificial lakes water dumped, then that could give us a lot of area to use for. Uh, Getting up to up through the um, is it for our tapper shacks. Yeah, we would need to get to the wood workshop and strengthen up our planks that to get these. Beads. <clears throat> and notably, we don't need metal to do that. But we needed metal for this wood workshop. We just need gears. Let's actually, let's start working towards. Gears. I think that is our big move. Um, and to get gears, we need lots of planks. We need lots of power. 
at this point because we don't really have good access to water generating power we would need to increase our population to more power wheels but we do have a, l a little bit of, of extra food stored here um, in the form of berries so we probably can increase our population pretty substantially um, likewise we've got platforms now we can use to actually build upwards so let's at the very least drop down some platforms here and put some more houses in. This should help us. We're going to need a lot of workers to run. We need two for each of these. We also need worker, we need beavers to be able to do farming also. Another thing to think about here is, should we need to increase our food production? We may just. Where would we even put the we even put the food. And maybe we rip this birch grove. We don't I don't know if I need the birch grove anymore. So I could always put another birch grove. At least that with food. There we go. We could support multiple farmhouses. Isn't really a great spot because we could get rid of these trees. Some farming there be a good option. Do that. Tear up all these trees. Build down. Well, a try to. Do this efficiently. We'll platform here, staircase. So, so relatively efficient. Do something like this and put houses here. That should hopefully be a production new population. So, uh, we are going to need builders, but we can put those. Let's get this built. To uh, say hello and uh, keep, always keeping an eye on the chat, waiting for someone to chat with. Good practice talking to nobody, you know, making me makes me a better streamer. And, uh, like like talking. That's why I'm here. You're like uh, we'll. Have some folks here in here. As long as I keep at it. But uh, gotta put in the work, you know, gotta put in the time, effort. I always say the uh, best things in life don't come easy. Wouldn't be the best things in life if they were be boring and normal. Everyone would have them. Take them for granted. Ah yes, you can see here with this with the addition of this extra farmhouse, it looks um, much more correct. Although wow, uh, those all came through pretty much at once. <clears throat> but we'll start to see it look a lot more correct um, after this harvest, I think. That's good. Oh, there's rubble. 
That's new. I don't know. Why is that I have misplaced that? Now they'll both be good. On our first staircase. Hooray. Beautiful. Let's break down. Very uh, wood efficient. You can see we're already storing 180 wood almost. These, uh, these maple trees are better. If they're wood production for us. Stocked up on wood for quite some time. Add this out. Oh, I never finished the uh, staircase here. That way, uh, all these houses will actually count. We'll be able to expand our house. So that adds on potentially, uh, eventually, 18 more, more beavers. So our population will jump quite high with this, and we'll be able to put in a lot of work Probably going to put a production center down in this low area that we're looking at here. I think that that is a big space and I don't see very many other areas that might be better. This could be another good spot to put some production in. It's nice and open and flat. There is a nearby open and flat spot, which is pretty good. That. Um, but we don't actually need a gigantic gear production factory. I think our gear production pretty small at first. Another drop coming. But this is fine. I expected this. Um, so we want to unlock probably the water dump. Or our, the droughts get too, too bad. We don't want to wind up having our riverbed run dry. We can just drop a little bit of water into it here and there. That unlocked, but we've got a little bit of time. I think we should have several more droughts before we can You can see we're processing wood into planks here. A couple days left until that drought hits. That's fine. Let's see, this is already rebuilding. Those little saplings don't get missed. Hmm. Well, looks like we need um, carrots and sunflowers. That, we'll do the rest sunflowers. Is this too far from the city center? Our wood stores are skyrocketing. Could hopefully have more than enough space. Production. Just tipped over that edge. We're close, but not quite there. This should really help. Two stable lines. We're just barely not able to keep this full with our current water production and our population, so that's not good. That means we need more water than we currently have. Consider. Um, this pump, unlike the iron tooth, it can pump two feet. Carefully where we put this. For example, if we were to put this pump here, it would do nothing. No water coming from it. Let's see, it doesn't even get down into the water. Mm -hmm. Oh, they were going to build it. <laughs> so we need to probably use platforms um, to put these in anywhere other than directly on the river sides. That 
can be a bit of a challenge with this. It's one of the unique aspects of a particular faction. Rip out these berries, we don't really need these anymore. And I'll take that out. Our trees, and we can also put more on the tree side. We did just add in a bunch of food, so it's okay. So here's the drought. Uh, all started to dry out here. Um, I think we probably, let's see, it's only four days, so we should be fine. The water will start to dry up a little bit, but. 